Hello everyone and welcome to the Energy Resilience Lab. Our lab is dedicated to your energy independence and your energy resilience. We will give you the knowledge, skills, and the encouragement you need to succeed in becoming energy independent. Today I'd like to share some breaking news in California. So the Pacific Gas and Electric Group was able to get a 8.5 megawatt substation uh, microgrid approved by the CPUC group there in California. They're going to be able to install an 8.5 megawatt microgrid at a substation in Napa Valley in wine country in California. And that is just showing you that uh, we are moving to a greener future, green hydrogen is becoming a significant thing in the news. It's becoming more and more prevalent. There are different types of hydrogen. We'll go over all the types of hydrogen and where they come from and why they're called different things. So there's black hydrogen, uh, gray hydrogen, and then there's also green hydrogen. Green means that it is green. So it is made in a way that doesn't make more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So they make it just by cracking. Uh, you can use solar to split water into hydrogen and oxygen or in other ways. So we'll go over those options, but that's a pretty significant move for California. Everyone's trying to figure out how hydrogen is going to fit into the market. Uh, it's very needed. There's a lot of issues with battery electric vehicles and just getting the energy, the transportation and movement of the energy is uh, getting more and more complicated as we get more electric vehicles on the road. So if we can get green hydrogen, that is an option that would take some of the pressure off of the electric grid. Um, but this is a big deal. Um, I've also been working with some companies that are starting to use hydrogen in off-grid situations where they want a very long um, uptime for and their resilience, their system. So when, so when you're off grid and you are just running normally, your power usage is very different at all different times. So it can go very high when you're using dryers and ovens and things, and then it can go very low and stay low for a long period of time, especially through the night when all the lights are off and no one's really up using different devices. So during that time, if you have a small, um, hydrogen fuel cell. You can use that fuel cell just to provide a specific amount of energy. So may, maybe it's a two kilowatt fuel cell and that's always just topping off your battery. So all through the night you're getting this bulk, the bulk amount of energy for your home that you're using over the long term can come from hydrogen. And then those peaks can be covered by the battery system. So it's kind of, it just barely broke, I guess, uh, just a week or so ago on April 27th is when the AHJs allowed Pacific Gas and Electric uh, to start that project, confirmed that it was acceptable. So they will have a hydrogen fuel cell plant combined with batteries there in the Napa Valley area. So this is one of the situations where we can see a large scale company purchasing very uh, cutting edge hardware that is going to make that microgrid very resilient. And in doing so, as we get more and more fuel cells purchased and used, those the hardware will become less expensive. Um, usually in fuel cells, they need something, a catalyst uh, metal usually in the process. So there's usually a lot of metals like platinum and palladium used in the actual fuel cell itself. And so as we use more and more, there will be more in the market, more recycled, and then it can become more ubiquitous for people like us that just want to build a cabin in the woods that always has very resilient power that can make it through winters, that can make it through storms. Hydrogen could be a good option. Uh, propane is still an option, but in certain areas like California where they're trying to cut out all the fossil fuels, they're a lot more cutting edge and they have to use all these new technologies to get the systems working so that they can have pure clean power through the whole system and for all time. So batteries, you can store energy for weeks and months. Hydrogen, you can store much longer. One of the drawbacks with hydrogen is that the fuel cells themselves uh, start to decay. So they start to wear out, they start to corrode, get 
materials uh, that build up on the membrane and essentially you just have a certain number of hours that that can operate and convert the hydrogen uh, oxygen combination into electrical power so that's one of the hurdles that they need to get over some of the people I've worked with say that they're at around uh, 3,000 hours of producing power that's where the system needs to be replaced or cleaned or refurbished so that gives you kind of an idea so in this case if you have a solar array that can provide the energy or the grid so you put use the grid power with your battery system that can cover you for most time uh, for resilience but it's really the long-term power outage with storms where the uh, fuel cells really shine because they can just provide a certain amount of power so you'd have to size it specifically to your home or to your uh, business but it would provide the bulk power and you're essentially just valley filling and peak shaving it so it's going to run at three kilowatt and when your usage goes below three kilowatt in a home type situation that's where you can draw on that power and put it into your battery and then when the load goes higher than three kilowatt the first kilowatt three kilowatt comes from the hydrogen and then the remaining would come from your battery system and then you can have solar and all of the other options as well to uh, kind of limit the hours on your hydrogen fuel cell so there's a little update for you uh, that's in california again pacific gas and electric uh, they're kind of on the cutting edge and the ahjs there have confirmed that they can install it so that's that's a monumentous achievement for them so congratulations to them thank you for watching uh, we'll see you guys next time thanks bye